We are voting for digitization. We are voting for posterity. In 2019, Ghana successfully hosted the year of return, which was dubbed Ghana 2019, a year-long program of activities commemorating the quarter centenary anniversary of the arrival of the recorded slave Africans in the United States. For those of us who did not understand what I meant by quarter centenary, I meant 400 years of anniversary. The initiative was a massive success and it opened the world's eye to Ghana as a hub of music, art and entertainment. Ecotourism and shone light on the rich ancestry and Ghana's role in the, in the world history. It also contributed to the return of people with Ghana ancestry People purchased lands and houses as they came back to Ghana, their motherland. 2019 has been, since 2019, there has been a huge number of people visiting Ghana, going beyond the return. And with a lot of tourists and returners continuing to flow in Ghana, Contributing to the national economy, encouraging investors in both large and small scale, and strengthens Ghana's reputation abroad. The Akufuado government has invested heavily in the renovation of sports stadiums across the country, including the Accra Sports Stadium, Baba Yara Sports Stadium, the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. In addition to this, the government has built sports stadiums in 10 regional capitals of our country. Six of these stadiums, namely Wa in the Upper West, Dunkwa in the Upfish Central, Axim in Westing, Doma Hinkro in Bono, Lou in the Volta, and Koforidia in the Eastern region. They are all ready with the Koforidia Sports Stadium having been commissioned by His Excellency, the President of Ghana, Nana Adudankwa Akufuado. The remaining four are expected to be completed this year. I think a round of applause will do. Thank you. The only place at the counter and build it plays in the lives of Ghanaian youth. As an instrument for a healthy lifestyle, and a teacher of sound values such as cooperation, fair play, endurance, and moral courage. During the MPP administration, Ghana has been firmly established as a center for the arts, music, culture, and tourism. The MPP has the bold solutions to project Ghana positively and make most of its potential a vote for MPP it's a vote for posterity. I know times are hard. It's global. The UK is just recovering from recession. America is tough. Canada is tough. Our neighboring countries, Nigeria, is equally tough. So to you watching me out there, the alternative is not a solution. The alternative will send us into an abyss of disaster. Vote for progress. Vote Baumia. Vote Matthew Poku Prempe as the incoming president. Now, let me take you to a memory name. We enjoyed free lights, we enjoyed free water during the COVID pandemic era. SMEs, money was given to people, small-scale businesses. This is the kind of leadership we had and we are having. Now, when we are taking over the baton, it's progress. I don't want you to be deceived out there. There is nothing the alternative can offer vote for digitization. Now you can go anywhere in Ghana because of the property address, the digital property address. You can use your Ghana card. Previously, if you wanted to get a passport, you had to write an essay. Vote for change, vote for Baumia, vote for progress. Love you.